Hello, my name is Trey Tax from Fogrite.com, and today I'll show you how to install or run a Fogrite server. Now, the first thing you want to do is to go to Fogrite.com and click the plugin section, and then click Rust files in near the click categories. Now we have a guy called Terrin. He's usually uploading all these Rust server files with Fogrite. Just go ahead and click the latest and you may select a download link uh, usually use the mega uh, URL and you can just simply download it like I did oops uh, leave and once that's done you want to create a folder for it and copy and paste the contents of the server files into the directory now <coughs> you may notice that you don't have this bad file at all and you also don't have this CFG folder with the server CFG file I'll leave a link into the description you'll have to create this CFG folder and you'll also have to create the server CFG by yourself now also the run server bat file it doesn't matter what its name but it has to be a bat file and as you can see the content is running the rust server xz in batch mode and it's accessing the server cfg while giving it max players 100 and it's running on port uh, 28015 and it's also loading the data from the rust server data folder now once you have copy pasted that you will want to create uh, you want to go ahead and create a CFG folder and you also want to create a server.cfg file and once you have done that you may copy and paste the contents that I will also leave into the description now you might want to change the icon password and you might want to change the host name of the server it should not be hard at all so once you have done that uh, you're ready to run your server you may change these settings if you think but these are optional it depends on you now once you've got this you, the next step is configuring Fogrite uh, which is actually also not hard as you can see inside these module folders uh, these are C sharp plugins and you want to go to the save folder and you also want to go to the fogrite.cfg file now there are some settings that you may change but it's unnecessary to do and the main things are usually here uh, at the bottom of the modules so as you can see the these are the module names these are the folder names so basically the module name which in this case is magma plugin as the C sharp plugins name equals with the save dot magma which is the save folders name this is where it loads the plugins now uh, well if you want to disable any of these modules you just simply go ahead and do a semicolon like this and it will it won't load uh, or if you want to enable these modules you may just simply delete the semicolons and it's up to you whether you want to run Lua plugins, JavaScript plugins, etc. This is a Gint Engine version 1 which is running JavaScript plugins. This is the Python plugin module. This is JavaScript version 2. And this is Lua AK Moonsharp. So um, once you've decided what to run and what not, you might want to go to the plugin section again and look for plugins that you may want to download for your server so uh... let's select a plugin that we may need oh wait yeah yeah let's go in and download clans because why not you always need clans on your server now <coughs> look at the plugins engine you'll see that the plugins engine is saying 
Python, which means that it's a Python plugin. So, uh, as you can see, it's, it is really a Python plugin. So you want to go ahead, copy and paste this, and go to Python plugins folder and paste it there, and then it will be loaded. Now, uh, otherwise, if we would do this to a JavaScript plugin, uh, let's see the older ones. There's some old JavaScript plugins over here. Uh, no. It seems like the, these were not added, but these are JavaScript plugins. They are pretty pretty old. Oh yeah. So this is Magmafires. It's a Gint Magma plugin, so it's a JavaScript plugin. You just go ahead and download it and as you can see it is really a JavaScript plugin you just simply go ahead copy paste it we know that it's a magma plugin you just go ahead and copy paste it and it will just simply load once again now I wonder if there are any sort of a uh, Gint version 2 plugins that are specified for that maybe JZAP? oh yeah JZAP now this is also an old plugin it was created by Mike uh, for Gint 2 it is a Gint 2 version JavaScript plugin so that means that you want to go ahead and copy and paste this plugin into the GS plugins folder now notice that Currently, we have the Gint module disabled. So, if you want to run this plugin in any case, you want to go ahead and delete the semicolon. And currently, we have no Lua plugins released at the moment, as far as I know, because nobody was interested in using Lua. But there are some ex examples in the documentation about Lua developing. It's it shouldn't be hard for those people who know Lua. Now the very important thing you want to go ahead and shadow force created a plugin that allows cracked players to join steam servers since this server is not cracked at all so this is not cracked this is a steam server you want to go ahead click the download button and since this is a python plugin you want to go ahead copy paste this Go to save, five plugins, and copy paste it, and boom, it will be running and letting crack players join your server. Now, and if you wish to download any sort of other Python plugins, most of them are Python plugins, by the way, it goes to the same directory. Now, let's see, a bit more complicated. Let's see, country blacklist. As you can see, this plugin's engine is C sharp. Now that means that it's a module, and it also depends on GeoIP. So that means that you will need to download GeoIP plugin from here. And the first thing you want to go, well, do is to go ahead, click the download button, download country blacklist, and as you can see, JKey made it pretty easy to set up. All you have to do is copy and paste one more time and do nothing, basically. Uh, you just want to go ahead and copy paste these two files, well, folders. You want to go ahead click yes. And as you can see, we have country blacklist in our module folder. And also have it in the save folder. You may configure it as you wish. I'm not going to show you that. It's pretty easy, I think. Uh, you may just click the settings. Everything is explained here. And the next thing you want to go, well, do is to go ahead and type um, here under the modules, same as the other modules, in the same way. You want to go ahead and type country blacklist equals with country blacklist because our save folder is country blacklist and also our module folder is country blacklist so it's, just, it's the same you want to go ahead and save this file now don't forget that if you want to use this plugin you will need GeoIP it's the same setup uh, you will just have to download it one more time and 
I also made it pretty easy to set up. You copy and paste this too, and you just have to type GUIP equals GUIP, and it will load. Now, well, I'm just going to do it so everyone will understand it a lot more easier. And of course, we'll have to test this. So the next thing you want to want to do is to type GUIP equals GUIP. Now the last thing that I'm going to show you is uh, downloading Rustbuster server because many people are now starting to use Rustbuster. You want to go ahead, click the download button, uh, read the installation uh, guide over here. There are some very important uh, detail in this section and also every plugin has important details in the description so you want to go ahead and you have three folders now we have these folders also in our server as you can see we have the module file we have a new DLL for the Rust server data and we also have a save folder which is empty but you just want to go ahead copy paste overwrite and as you can see we have Rustbuster 2016 server as a module we have the new DLL file and of course we also have the directory now the next thing you want to go well do I, I'm not I'm not sure why I'm saying go all the time but the next thing you want to do is to type Rustbuster 2016 server equals Rustbuster 2016 server and save it these are only for the DLL aka C sharp plugins and now once you have downloaded enough plugins and you think you will be good enough with it uh, I'm just gonna rename the server uh, test for right server you wanna go ahead whoops and click the run server bat it's starting up and as you can see we have the GOIP loading uh, ignore that uh, it should not happen on your PC it's because I'm running too much programs at the moment on my PC and uh, as I'm seeing on my second monitor I'm using 6 0.5 RAM out of 8 so it should not happen for you it's just because I'm running too many things on my PC and as you can see it loaded the Rust++ plus plus module and the glitch fix which are default in these folders and it also loaded the magmafires plugin which we installed whoops not here we installed here and it also loaded the country blacklist C sharp plugin and the GOIP and it also loaded the clans and the oath allow uh, Python plugins which we added here and Rustbuster server is also running now once this server is running uh, everything should be fine uh, you may view the logs in the save folder uh, there are logs over here they are pretty useful if you have anything to report or you have problems and if you wish to save or close the server you want to go and uh, press control and C and it will start saving everything and it will close the Rust server and you type yes and the next uh, startup once you restart the server again you will see that it will load a lot more faster and it will also load our earlier map that was created a few seconds ago and it also initializes the server and as you can see we are running Fogelwright 1.5.1 and this is how you run a Fogelwright server, install C Sharp, Python and JavaScript plugins and also uh, I left Lua out but it shouldn't be hard if 
but there are no release Lua plugins, just this test one over here. So if you open this and edit it, you'll see that uh, there are some hooks over here on Lua 2, but it's not necessary. I don't think that anyone will develop anything in Lua at the moment. We may mainly have C Sharp and Python plugins running on Fogelwright. And yeah, that's it guys. Good luck.